In the year 2021, the mobile processor industry is going to witness one of the biggest wars between the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 and Exynos 2100. In the latest launch, Samsung has faced enough criticism due to the low performance of Exynos 990 compared to Snapdragon 865 in the same Galaxy S20 smartphone. According to leaks, this time, Samsung will be going to take some big steps in Exynos 2100 specs, performance, and even be able to beat Snapdragon 888 in benchmark. But the leaks and rumors say that both of the upcoming lead edge processors are going to be featured in the latest Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Now, which model you will get, that is uncertain and depends on the country you live in. Let's compare Samsung Exynos 2100 versus Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 in the specifications, benchmark, key differences, and find out will Samsung Exynos 2100 going to beat Snapdragon 888 or not. So without further ado, let's crack straight into the video. Samsung and Qualcomm are both considered as powerful and efficient processors till date, as both are fabricated on 5 nanometer process technology for better performance, and also sharing the same latest architecture that is ARM X1 Prime Core, even though the core distribution is also the same. So it wouldn't be wrong if we say that Exynos 2100 is going to give a tough competition to Snapdragon 888 in 2021. Talking about the CPU performance, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 has a tri-cluster 64-bit 8-core CPU that integrates one ARM Cortex-X1 as super core which operates at 2.84 GHz clock speed. Then we have three Cortex-A78 called Gold Cores at 2.40 GHz clock speed. And lastly, the chip provides four Cortex-A55 Silver Cores for efficiency running ticking at 1.80 GHz clock speed, while the Exynos 2100 will also have a tri-cluster 64-bit octa-core CPU that includes one ARM Cortex-S1 as big core at 2.91 GHz frequency. After that, we may get three Cortex-A77 as middle cores at 2.81 GHz frequency. And lastly comes the four ARM Cortex-A55 as efficiency cores at 2.21 GHz frequency. Here, the CPU architecture of both chipsets is the same, but the Exynos 2100 has a better clock speed in comparison to the Snapdragon 888. So in terms of CPU performance, Exynos 2100 wins the title. To gear up the gaming experience, Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 has brought the Adreno 660 GPU that delivers up to 35% faster graphics distribution than the prior generation. The chip is furnished with a full Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite Gaming Armory which promotes ultra-smooth gaming and desktop-level experience. Variable rate shading technology has improved game rendering by up to 30%. While on the other hand, the Exynos 2100 will have an ARM Mali G78 GPU. According to Antitasi.com, the Mali G78 GPU is going to be faster than the Adreno 660. Well, the information based on the various websites is not valid or not, it is really tough to say now. But when the Exynos 2100 will be launched, it will be fun to watch the cutthroat competition, that's for sure. Coming on the display section, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 is providing 60Hz refresh rate for 4K display and 144Hz for 2K display which is good enough. But the rumors about Exynos 2100 say that they will have 144Hz refresh rate in 4K display. Can you believe it? Well, the truth will be revealed soon with the launch of the next flagship phones. Let's move to the camera support. Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 is offering up to 64MP at 30fps in dual camera and up to 200MP in single camera. When we look at the leaks and rumors of the Exynos 2100, it says that the chip will have up to 36 megapixel plus 36 megapixel dual camera and single camera is as the same as Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, which is up to 200 megapixels. 
Though the single camera support is similar in both chips, the dual camera is better in the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. Talking about the connectivity, Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 has arrived with an integrated 5G modem and built-in Wi-Fi 6 that provides buttery smooth browsing and 5G download speeds is up to 7.5 gigabits per second. And the Exynos 2100 will also not lag behind. According to leaks and rumors, Exynos 2100 will also have a built-in 5G modem. So in the case of network support, there is much likely possible that both of the chips will give a similar service. According to AN22 scores, the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 has earned 847,868 and the upcoming Samsung Exynos 2100 has got 831,671 scores. So clearly, the winning crowning goes to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 with little difference. Again, if we take a look at the Geekbench, it shows that the newly launched Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 has a single core score 1135 and in multi core 3794. On the other hand, the upcoming Samsung Exynos 2100 has scored 1313 in single core and 4174 in multi core. Whether it's about the single core or multi, on the Geekbench scoring scale, Samsung Exynos 2100 is leading. Though it is not a definite result, most of the leaks claim this. Well, as we can see, both of the processors have cutthroat competition, and right now, it is very difficult to say anything certainly which one will serve better overall performance until the Exynos 2100 hits the real world. So after seeing this neck-to-neck -neck competition, what do you think? Will Samsung Exynos 2100 beat Snapdragon 888? Let us know in the comment section below. Nevertheless, if we come across some more updates, we will certainly let you know about them in another video. Thanks for watching our video. Like, comment, and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.